In this video, we will see how to integrate Telegram with your free N810 local installation. You cannot use localhost directly for webhooks. The solution is to use ngrok to expose your localhost. The very first step is to download ngrok. Here I am on the ngrok.com website. Go to get ngrok option then click on this download button. Here we are on the download page. ngrok is available for different operating systems as you can see here. Select the version compatible with your operating system. I selected windows as I have a windows laptop. Now click on this download button. This will allow you to download a standalone executable file and then run the installer. There are different architecture options are available here. You can click on this drop down box to select the one that is suitable to your computer. I am using windows 64 bit hence I have selected download for windows 64 bit then click on this download button then change to the directory where you want to download the file and then click on this save button then navigate to the directory where you have saved the downloaded file then right click on the downloaded zip file and click on the extract all button choose the destination folder and then click on this extract button you can see the ngrok file has been extracted into this directory location then move the extracted ngrok file to a directory where it can be easily accessed let me click on this then select cut option then move to ngrok directory and let me paste it here now i know i have the ngrok.exe file in my ngrok directory next we need to authenticate your ngrok account to do that open a terminal or a command prompt let me type in cmd and select the command prompt now again let us go to the ngrok website this is the step that we are going to do you need to sign up for a, an ngrok account click on this sign up button there are different ways in which you can sign up for the ngrok account i will sign up with my google account let me click on this sign up with google then you need to enter your email id here all of the on screen prompts depending on the way you chose to sign up then you will be taken into the ngrok.com dashboard in order to find your auth token click on this your auth token option on the left hand side here here it will show you your personal auth token now click on this copy button to copy your auth token then come back to the command prompt type in the command ngrok space auth token space then paste your auth token and then hit enter then you can verify whether ngrok is installed correctly by typing in ngrok space version in the command prompt we can see the ngrok is installed successfully since it is giving the version number 3.20 next we will be using ngrok to expose your local na10 installation to the internet now switch back to your ngrok website here i am in the ngrok website you will get one free static domain with the free account that you can use for webhooks this free static domain name is assigned by ngrok and you will not be able to select the name click on the domains option on the left hand side here here you have some description about the domains it is saying domains allow you to customize the endpoints you create with ngrok they accept http https and tls traffic then we can do this in three ways you can claim your free static domain this domain is associated with your account forever you can also reserve subdomains but for that you need to be on a paid plan you can also bring your own domain that also requires a paid plan now click on this create domain button you can see here a domain name has been created for you now that you have your domain created let us create an endpoint by starting a tunnel here you can see it is saying start a tunnel from the command line and then you can copy and paste this command in your terminal click on this copy button here i pasted the command this command will create the tunnel for you your domain name is specified after this url parameter and then you will replace the port number 80 with your own port number by default na10 is installed on 5678 so i am using 5678 port number here then press enter now ngrok will generate a public url that you can use to access your local na10 installation now you can click on this url to check if your na10 instance shows up in the browser here is the domain name and here it is my local installation is showing up perfectly now another important step we need to perform is to update 
the webhook url environment variable with ngrok endpoint since telegram requires a public https url to do that we will modify docker compose file with webhook underscore url environment variable set to point to ngrok endpoint that we just created find the directory where your docker dash compose dot yml file is located on my laptop i have this docker dash compose dot yml file in this specific directory location then right click on the docker compose file and then click on open with notepad you can open it with any text editor find the environment section in your docker compose file usually you will find it in the beginning of your docker compose file then add this webhook underscore url environment variable pointing to your own domain that has been generated by ngrok then click on the file and then save button to save your changes now in order for the environment variable to take effect we are going to delete the docker containers and recreate them if you have many na10 workflows then it might be a good idea to backup your workflows in case if anything goes wrong you will be able to restore them again open up a command prompt window make sure you are in the directory where your docker compose file is located and then type the command docker dash compose space down and hit enter you can see the containers are being removed now then type in the command docker dash compose space up space dash d and hit enter now confirm the environment variable is set by typing in this command docker space exec space na10 space print env space webhook underscore url and hit enter you can see it has displayed our ngrok endpoint this confirms that the variable is set correctly now let us go back to our na10 instance click on the plus sign here and then click on the workflow to start a new workflow now we want to use the telegram on message trigger in our workflow this node listens for incoming messages on a specified telegram bot when a message is received it activates the workflow and passes the message data to the next nodes click on the plus sign here and type in telegram in this search bar then select the telegram option here then select this on message trigger click in this drop down box under this credential to connect with field and click this create new credential option you will need to paste your access token here and you need to follow a few steps in order to get your access token we will need to create a bot in telegram which is done using bot father bot father is the main service in telegram through which all user bots are registered an unlimited number of bots can be registered on any account the only condition is a unique username ending with bot word for example my first bot or my first underscore bot i will show you step by step process on how to create the bot and get the access token you can follow these steps on your mobile phone where telegram app is installed or follow my steps here in order to demonstrate the process i'll be using telegram website on my laptop first let us go to telegram website type in telegram in your google search bar and then hit enter and click the link that says telegram.org if you don't have the telegram app on your laptop or mobile phone you can download it from here scroll down i want to download on my windows laptop so i am selecting this telegram for pc option here then here i am selecting get telegram for windows 64 option here you can see it is downloading the exe file you can run this exe file to install telegram on your laptop follow the on screen prompts and telegram app will be installed on your laptop now open the telegram app on any device and enter at bot father in the search bar then click on the first result with the blue check mark here here you can see the bot father in order to create a new bot click on this new bot option here you can give a name to your bot i'm just calling it fbs demo and hit enter now it is asking to choose a username for your bot as you can see here it says the username must end in bot i'm calling it fbs demo underscore bot and then hit enter then you will see this done congratulations message this will have a link to your newly created 
bot and also it will have the access token copy this access token switch to na10 workflow and then paste it here then click on the save button you will see this green bar saying connection tested successfully now you can close this credential dialog box then you can click on this link to open your new chatbot here you can see this is your new chatbot now you can click on this test step button to check whether you are able to chat with the telegram bot that we just created you can see here on the left hand side that it is listening for telegram event meaning it is waiting for a chat message from telegram let us go to the telegram chatbot that we created here i am in the chatbot and then let us just type in a test message hi there how are you and then hit enter then let us come back to the n8 n workflow you can see this node has been executed successfully here it is showing on the output the text message that we just typed hi there how are you now let us click on this back to canvas button to go back to the canvas and here you can see the telegram trigger node that we created and successfully tested and found it is working perfectly